So this is a quick demo showing how I use the colour pencils with my Icarus uh, heated drawing board, uh, showing how really quite easy it is to blend colours together and to create some really, really lovely, rich, smooth pigments. I'm using uh, the Fabriano Artistico hot press paper um, and I'm using mostly, I think, actually all luminance pencils in here as well. The luminance pencils work really really well with heat because they're wax based. So the Icarus board is basically, a, it's a large metal heated drawing board. You, uh, you switch it on, it heats up, you've got I think eight different heat settings, you pop your paper over the top of it and you just start to draw and the heat comes through the paper um, and as soon as your pencils sort of hit the hit the heat they start to melt so you can see here I'm not using very hard pressure at all um, just sort of adding the pigment in in layers like you normally would do but you don't have to press really hard and I, I have some real issues sort of burnishing and 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 using quite hard pressure joint issues that type of thing and it's um you know, it, it can be quite tiring if you're using something like a hot press paper and you have to do an awful lot of burnishing to get rid of the tooth. So using heat with your pencils really, really helps with that. It can really help with, um, you know, if you get sort of cold hands or if you've got joint issues or arthritis or something like that. Having the heat under the paper, again, is re it's just such a lovely, lovely drawing experience. So these are my two little tree frogs from a fabulous photo from uh, Juanita Knowles. And they are a, a full tutorial over on my Patreon. So I show you sort of step by step all in real time, uh, no time lapse or anything like that. And I talk you through how to create these. Now, you don't have to create them using the heat board. Um, you know, you can just use the normal conventional route of layering and, and burnishing. But I just felt I had my Icarus board and I've had lots of people asking me to sort of do a bit of a demo on it. So I thought better, you know, this is a fantastic subject actually to, um, to test the Icarus board out um, you know with them being lovely and shiny and there's lots of blending and all sorts of different colors and everything like that so it um, you know it was quite a good uh, piece to, to sort of you know play around with really so what I found worked really really well was just adding a couple of uh, light layers of uh, pencil to begin with and they don't go on like really smoothly that you can see here you still get sort of like quite a grainy look and then you pick a color that you can um it's almost like burnishing i guess but not with all of the pressure so here i've got the bismuth yellow that i'm using over the top of spring green and dark sap green to create this lovely sort of bright green of the of the bamboo cane here um you can also use um, buff titanium or white or something like that to kind of go in and, and it, it's definitely a, a form of burnishing but you don't have to use the pressure and it just gives this this fantastic sort of rich um, you know deep colour uh, without all of the you know having to sort of press really really hard and you also get some really really lovely um, sort of looking pencil work where you, you do still have a little bit of the texture coming through if you want it to you can cover all of the tooth up if you want but actually I really liked some of that uh, the bit of the tooth and the texture of the paper coming through and it, there are places where it almost looked a little bit like watercolour um, you know and it, it was just a very very fun process uh, to do so um, the Icarus board is is available I'll put a, a link up in, uh, in, in the description um, and and um, there are some alternatives actually that you can use. I'd say the Icarus board, if you can afford one, it's it's definitely worth trying to to get one. They they are a really super super um, uh, piece of kit actually. But if you if you can't afford it and you're on on a little bit more of a budget, then something like a reptile heat pad or a seedling heat pad with a thermostat that can work incredibly well as well. They're not as big as the Icarus board, and you kind of have to sh you know shimmy your pencil your paper around a little bit. But um, you know they're 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 a fraction of the cost, and they will work in um in a similar sort of way. So um, yeah, so if you want to see this. Um, this tutorial in real time you want to, to have a look at the whole thing it's available on my second tier in Patreon um, and I, I you know I talk you all the way through it you get the reference photo the line art the materials list and you get I don't know it's probably about 20 22 hours of, of, um, of tutorial to watch um, 
so um, yeah so I hope that was useful um, you know lots of people have asked me to sort of have a look at the the Icarus board and um, and show how it works and how coloured pencil works with heat uh, it, it's um, it's actually a really really fun thing to try <laughs>